Hi folks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This will be episode 28 of the Beginner's Guide 2023, and today is actually launch day of chapter 3 of Age of War. So, the whole thing with the Age of War has been gathering your treasure in chapter 1. Chapter 2 was the new purge system, where you called in a purge instead of a purge happening automatically and in chapter three we have the new tavern system um, and the, the pve raid has been introduced and the tavern system requires a barkeeper and the only way at the moment at this time to get a barkeep is to rescue him from a purge so i'm thinking it's about time we did a purge so if we go rewind back to, to pre-chapter 2, back back in the good old days, there used to be a purge meter down the bottom of your character, just down up here under the character sheet. And everything you did in the game, whether it was building, crafting, fighting, whatever, slowly increased that purge bar until it reached us. There's a line about maybe two-thirds of the way along, and when it reached that line, that means that the NPCs knew of your existence and then were going to come for you. And basically on a random point in time after that, you would get attacked by a bunch of NPCs. And the NPCs you got attacked by were based on your location on the map. So there was a no purge do zone down here in New River, but wherever you went further north than that, it was like the local NPCs would be the things that attacked you. So over here in Sepa Maru, just north of Sepa Maru, where I had my previous Beginner's Guide base, it was Relic Hunters and Locusts were the, there's Locusts around the back here, they, they would do it, or the Relic Hunters from Sepa Maru. Uh, when we were up here at the, near the den, we got a bunch of different, we got a Jebel Sag one, we got a, a couple of different purges up there. But that has all changed now. The, the bar has gone that doesn't exist anymore what you do now is you place one of these coffers in your in your base which is this uh, treasure chest behind us with a little accountant and you add treasure to it the the bigger treasure you place in the room and there's like an area of effect around the coffer that you can place a treasure and the smaller treasures you actually place inside this chest and you would place treasure in here this guy would total up all the different treasure you had and he would give you a value of the total value and that would base the level of purge that you're going to get. The problem is that this base was built before we knew what the purge was going to be. And what actually happens, what, what they used to do before was sort of target an area and they would break their way through the walls into, into your base. But what they'll do now is they actually only use the doors. They're much more civilized. They have special... NPCs, they're all Stygians by the way, it's waves of humans, there's no more creatures come at you. They'll come at you and they'll just come and they'll try and break down your door. The demolishers with their battering rams will break your doors down. The rest of the NPCs won't do that, they'll just fight all your guards and whatnot. And they'll work their way through and when they get in, so I've only got one door at the front. And there's not even a door here, so they could just then, what if they broke that one door down, they would be able to get in here, and then all the NPCs would steal my treasure and wander away with it. Uh, the demolishers, at that point in time, now they've broken their way to here, will just start breaking pieces, building pieces. And the problem is, if they break these walls, they're going to break possibly the roof and all the, the benches that are upstairs with the tier 4. Uh, crafters on them as well, so they would all uh, could potentially lose a lot of stuff. So, this isn't the best design base for a purge, because we didn't know what the purge was going to be. And also, I just wouldn't suggest having a purge on your main base. It's better to have a separate location, somewhere else on the map, preferably close to where your base is, um, that you can just have a base for with a coffer in it for purges. So I've crafted a little base just on, on the other side of Sepa Maru. Um, and I'm going to take you there now and we're going to go and do a couple of purges. Okay, see you really very soon. Okay, welcome back. So behind me is my little purge base. This is by far is not the best design for a purge base. 
Um, we're only going to be doing low level purges at the moment. Um, there are plenty of other videos from other people on how to create a, a much better purge base with better defenses and, and such like. But we've got a, so a main keep that got a, we'll have a coffer in there. And we've just got a little walkway, we'll call it here. And all that is, is just to allow me to have multiple sets of doors. So they're going to have to break, break through three sets of doors to get into the main room here. Right, so in the main room we need to build a coffer. So we already learned a coffer, because we've obviously built that already. But uh, there it is there, treasure coffer. Uh, and it says it is crafted with a construction hammer. So 5, F. Uh, if we go to decoration, you'll see that they have made a lot more categories of in here. Uh, that one's possibly the same, the crafting stations, but the decorations, obviously there was lots of categories that had a lot of stuff in it, so they've just split them up a bit more. And if we go to the treasure section, there we go, treasure coffer, and it requires 15 shaped wood and 5 reinforcements. So it's kind of the same as one of these large chests. So we're going to need 15 shaped wood and 5 iron reinforcements. Uh, should have set that as the default. There we go. So we can now craft that. And you can see this pattern, this sort of swirly pattern, and that dictates your area of effect for placing treasure down. So anywhere within that area, which is pretty large. And if I go out here, still out here, still out here, uh, and it either... Oh, you can see the sort of circle around it. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty large. But you probably don't want to have it such a huge area. You want to kind of contain it within a room. Okay, so there we go. We have our guy. Let me just... Uh, let me just get... I'll show you what my defences are. I've, I've got the five berserkers that I've got from the main base. I've got them all leveled up to level 20. As you can see... They're all level 20. I've got the golem that we crafted, the crystalline golem that we crafted in the golem episode. And we've got another golem here, also crystalline, but one with a battle axe. This one's got the sword. We've just got to use them as an extra line of defense. And I'm going to have Delincia following me. So now we just want to get them prepared and in our little fridge here I've got so what is there one two three four five or six six fighters all together uh, and we're going to also I want to buff them up so we'll start with Delincia we'll give her a stack of food that's the the best healing food that you can give them we'll give her one of those we'll give her one of those, so pork rinds, salted pork, and a grey lotus potion, just to boost their strength. Right, and we'll just work our way along the line, doing exactly the same with the humans. Uh, so one of those, one of those, and one of those. I'll bring you back once I've done all this. Right, welcome back. So, I have buffed up everybody. They've all got their food and potion buffs, and I've got some as well. One thing I need to bring up is there is a Purge Defender journey step. So let's switch that journey, and it says place or access a treasure coffer. So we've done that already, so we just need to access it. Such a pretty sight. There we go. Then we need to place treasure in the coffer. So... I've put all the treasure that we had in our other base in this chest. So we had gold and silver coins. We have these various uh, sort of medium treasures that you can pick up and place on the ground, but you can carry them. And then there's these sort of mini treasures that are just in inventory and you throw them in the chest. If you remember when we did the Heart of the Sands episode, there is also... Oh, Delincia has just jumped in. Um, we found the Derketo Cat Idol treasure on the Jamila's Liberty ship. That's the one you have to slowly, manually hand carry it all the way back to your base. And they're called heroic treasure and they give you lots more 
treasure value. We don't have any of them, so I can't use any of them. But there's different levels of purge, and they're based on how much treasure is in or counted by the coffer. So if we was to pick up anything at all, you just need like one gold will do it. So let's just take this tiny little navigation chart. We'll throw it in the coffer. We've placed treasure in the coffer. Now we need to trigger a purge. So we do that by speaking to this guy. So you can see one navigation chart. We've got one. It's got a value of 10, giving them a total value of all our treasure, a 10, which is threat level one, purge level one. So it doesn't count anything that's in that box at all. It's only things that are either on the ground here or in that chest. So 10 is enough. We'll trigger a purge. So to do that, we're going to proclaim wealth. And it says, Beware, by proclaiming your wealth, you will draw the attention and greed of the Stygian Empire to your door. Their armies will assault your stronghold and seek your treasure. The greater the prize, the greater the threat. You cannot build during a purge. Prepare your defenses. Okay. So, we've now triggered a purge. I need to drink some water. I need to put my helmet on. And we need to go outside, because what will happen now is the Stygians will set up what they call a forward operating base. Oh, it's also going to turn night. Now, just behind us is the green ghost wall, so it shouldn't build it behind us. So, there's all this flat land in front of us, and there is flat land just over there. This is the jawbone. I didn't show you where it is in the map. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's built up there. Oh, quite close, actually. Don't like it when it's close, because if you're in range of these archers, these archers are a bit of a pain. Right, we've triggered the purge. Now we need to complete the purge. So these waves of mobs will come out. There's, like, cages in there that they'll come out of, and we've just got to defeat, defeat them. So level one is super easy. It's just exiles. What we want is these guys. These are the demolishers. This guy. So can I... They, they come a lot slower now than they did in the previous one. But they have that big, huge battering ram. Oh, he's down. And if they get... All they want to do, they won't aggro on you at all. They just want to get to your doors and just batter your doors down. So we have to, we have to concentrate on these guys. If our mobs don't do it for us. Oh, yeah. yep. So let's just fight our way through these. There's another demolisher coming. Typical that's turning night time. Of course, we've got night time sped up on the server. So these are one skull, so they're a bit higher level, but still not that difficult. Oh, there's a... Uh, one skull. So he's in the Stygian armor. Here comes another... Demolisher. These are just demolisher ones, because it's a, a level one purge, so they're super easy. The more treasure you have, the higher level mob that will come at you. There's another one. It goes all the way up to level 10. Okay, it's daytime again. So we we keep doing these waves. Ooh, look, you're pretty badly hurt. How did you get so badly hurt? That's the problem, they're running off into the camp. Whereas if that base is a bit further away. These these guys are all full health. But that one guy is quite badly damaged. Or maybe move him a bit further away when he comes back. Which one is he? This one. Here, you move over here, just heal up a bit. Everybody else is okay, so he must have just got surrounded. Oh, the two... <laughs> the two golems are in the middle of the camp. Oh, 
So we're just going to keep doing these waves until the commander will challenge us. And then he'll be kind of standing at the gateway and we'll go and fight the commander. How are you getting on? Ah, you're healing up. You do have food. Yeah, you do. It would help if our golems didn't actually go in there and we're they're just gonna get demolished. Not a major big deal. There we go. So there's the hand of war, this guy with the big costume on. He has a three skull. There we go. And he's down. The purge is defeated, and then what'll happen is these guys surrender. And anybody who was fighting, like these guys, they'll just, like, there we go, they just disappeared. Right. You guys, get back. So. On the commander has got keys. So he's got three keys. The higher the purge, the more keys you'll get. So three commander keys. And in the... Where do you think you're going? In the base, you have cages. Ah, so we've actually got... Three cages and a locked chest. And with three keys, we can't unlock all four. We've only got enough for <laughs> oh, that. That chest is actually floating. So that one's a loot chest. It's not locked, so we can open that. You can see here we can pick up various. This is a Stygian Vanguard armor. You get pieces of that. That's actually the epic variant of it. So we'll, we'll grab that. Various other tools and materials and decorations and stuff like that you can get in these again the higher level purge the better your rewards will be um, right let's let this guy out because this is an important guy this is iskar the cell sword so he is a mercenary who has a random chance of turning up in the cages he he doesn't always come quite often appears in the first one you ever do but and if we talk to him he'll He'll tell you a story, but he'll also trade with you. So he'll sell you items. So there's the battering ram that you need to do. Don't run away, the PvE raid. You need the, these things for battering down the doors and getting through their doors. You can buy mercenary banners, so like a, a, a group of archers, fighters, protectors, or a combination, or a captain. And you can see the prices. 500 for an archer, 1000 for fighters. 1500 for protectors, 750 for a combination, and 3000 for a captain. And then you've got crate of explosive jars, siege boulders, hardened arrows, explosive arrows, items like that you can buy off of them that are all useful for purge type stuff. Right, we've got two other ones here. That one looks like a dancer, and that one looks like a low level fighter. So let's let her out. So she is a dancer, she's a level 3 dancer, so she will stop eventually. Oh no, she's going to try and attack him, so I don't want her, so we're just going to break bond. You can get tier 4 fighters, performers from, from these cages, and again, the higher level the purge, the more likely you are to get a T4. Right, we've got one key left, so I won't open that last cage, I'll open the lock cage. So here we go, it's got more treasure, uh, more items, a shoebill egg, a perspective of Derketo, some radium gems, a burlap pouch, iron reinforcement, some healing items, some food, solid pork, and some more coins. So again, not that ex exciting, but uh, there is a chance to get some nice stuff in these crates. Okay, so that was a level... Oh, there... can't leave me here. I beg you. Oh, no. That looks like that is... That looks like that is a barkeep. A thousand times, I beg you. But I've used all my keys. I never noticed that cage there before. I've used all my keys, so I won't be able to get them out. Damn. Right, well, what we need to do is trigger another purge. So, you don't need to wait for that to despawn. You can spawn in another one pretty much straight away. 
How are you getting on? You're back to full health, so let's put you back. Back to position. And let's go in. Right, let's grab, let's grab all our gold coins. Place them in here. Right, what does that give us? So that's put it up, it's over a thousand now, so it's up to level two. So let's get a bit more. Uh, we've got a war horn. So you can see with the war horn, it shows the, the symbol. And if you, you left click, this? look at the guy here, he now shows you the Jade Warhorn. So that's worth 500. So that's put it up to 1,680. Let's just get some more of this stuff. Let's grab the silver coins and the gold bars. So I'll put the silver coins in. You don't get an awful lot for silver coins. What are we at now? Oh, there we go. We're over 5,000. So what did we get for there? Gold bars must have been, yeah. So the gold bars were worth 30 each. So that's given us 3,810. So we're up to level 3 now. So that's got to be a, a, enough to should do the next one that we want to do. Hopefully we'll get some more keys. Yeah, I'll throw that in there as well. Throw that away. Okay. Right, let's go and trigger... No, we we'll trigger it from in here. Oh, we can claim our journey step. So we've completed all that now. So that gives us a Golden Stygian Raider Epic Helmet. Or Normal and Epic Helmet. Which is nice. Right, let's uh, trigger. So we're level three. We've, we've missed level two. I'm going straight to level three. So we should get some harder level mobs to fight. Oh, that that base has despawned now. Hopefully the new base will spawn a little bit further away so we get them to actually come to us instead of us rushing off into their camp. And there's a very big flat area right in front of us there. That would be a perfect... Oh, no, no, it's done it over the ridge, over the other side. That's that's the Rhino Ridge. You can see Sepa Maru in the background there. So we should start seeing stream so noxious arrows are actually really good for this because you can because they follow a set path so you could just fire noxious arrows and let them run through the clouds of poisonous gas and then they're pretty weak by the time they get there so these guys oh well, there's a fire guy these are black hand pirates so you can see they're a bit tougher than the, the previous ones There comes the first demolisher. Well, that was disappointing. They've got a barkeep. The barkeeps are not guaranteed. And we really want a barkeep so we can make a tavern. But I never noticed it there, and therefore I didn't have a key to open his cage. Right, so I'm kind of leaving the the golems and my fighter friends to take on the so these are these are demolisher too so we're not killing them off with one combo but as long as we are oh look at that guy oh what a shame as long as we're not letting them get to our doors there we go there you go crippled This is actually kind of the perfect distance you want, so your guys are fighting them before they get even close to the fact that these guys are not even getting aggroed by them. Look how much you can slow them down with. There you go, you get them, Dylan, yeah. Oh. 
Another one. Demon fire orbs are horrible. I'm not sure if I hate them more than I do with the pokey stick guys. Where's Delintia? Oh, there she is. Come on then. You could also use traps, you could place traps in their way, because you can see they follow a very, very particular pathing. You probably won't know what that path is until the space spawns, so you have to wait for it to spawn, then you can drop your traps down or fire your noxious arrows to create the glass clouds. Let's just let them get a little bit closer. Come on, don't you? Come here. Right, take her out. Him out, even. We're not really struggling on this level 3 at all with our... But we've got 5 level 20 Berserkers, a level 20 Delincia, and 2 Crystalline Golems. So we're not even getting to our base, so we're not even using the base def for defences. There we go. The Stygian Hand challenges us. Take you out, but they'll still keep coming until you take the hand down. They'll still keep coming, the waves will come. You see him speeding up there. Go on, down you go. Right. Oh, the, the rhino is actually. Whoa! The rhino's getting involved. There we go, victory! I think we get five keys off of him. Yeah, we do. Right, so you should just disappear. There he goes, because we're now one. Right, so let's have a look. Let's have a better look in the cages. So there's three cages again. So there's another Iskar the Cell Sword. There's a dancer, and what looks like a fighter there. Now those are definitely only three cages. There is. So that's unfortunate that the, the one that we wanted isn't here this time. Alright, let's let you out, see what you are. So you're just a dancer too, so you can go. Ooh, stuck on the door. And you're an archer too, so you can go. Uh, and I'll unlock the chest. We've got another harp, another urn, some more treasure. There's a battering ram, so that's a battering ram for free for us. Uh, a tablet of Durketo. Uh, burlap pout. Ah, an archer post. That's good. Uh, concentrated aloe, some more healing. So slightly better level healing items this time. Healing wraps, aloe. Here. Precept that teaches you the set religion if you haven't already learned that. And then in this chest, more armor, some food, a training dummy, uh, some mod kits, iron Where weapons, bricks, furniture, etc. Let's take let's take one training dummy. Just to stick it out just for see what it looks like. Good, if you can set up like a little courtyard, you could have training dummies and um, archery targets. So let's place that down. What's the front? Is that the front? There you go. That's just a little dummy that you can decorate your base with. Right, uh, I want to show you the... Can I get in without getting skewered? So, a new feature. Come on, up you get. Of chapter 3 is these archery archer posts. 
So you could stick an archer up here with the crenulations before, and that would have stood here and he would have fired away. But he would try to, especially, this is okay because it's a little box, but if it's a, along like a rampard, he would move up and down all over the place trying to get a better attack on something. Um, and it was just a bit of a nightmare to control them. So these new posts, you can see, snap into the middle of a crenellation. Like that. And it now becomes an archer post. So let me... Let me just take that wall down. There we go. So I can climb up. Um, can I take you? I don't know if it only works with archers. Let's just do a bit of science and find that out. So I want to move and guard. Uh, it must only work with archers. And this is a fighter. Oh. But, like, if we go over here, you see these ghosts, the green ghost things? So you could place a fighter on a door, so they'll guard that door, and they'll, that'll be their position, and they'll return to there. As opposed to just putting them randomly on the floor, and they'll kind of... You, you can see this guy here is in the corner. I placed him over here, and he hasn't quite returned to the right place. But these these will have them on the right area, and you still be able to get through the door. So with an archer, you'll get the same thing with that archer post. There'll be a green ghost, and you'll be able to place him or place them down, and they'll stay at that post and just sit there firing. But we need to we need to get a we need to get an archer to to show you and test that. So you can get those from purges. That's rewards from purges. You can also learn the recipe from purges. From I think you need to be the higher level purges. You'll be able to learn the recipe, and then you'll be able to craft them yourself. But yeah, you get them, stick them in a crenulated wall, and then you'll be able to put an archer and place them into like a ghost image and do that there. Right, um, oh, we'll, we'll fix that later. Right, well we do, have we got enough treasure to do a bit higher? Let's see if we can get up to level five. So what did we get? Oh, we got a, a harp and an urn. So let's place the harp down and the Earn down. What does that give us? That's still level three. We've got another two harps. We've got four horns. Let's put our nice stuff in there. Exquisite. Put a couple Remarkable. Of them down there, and we need. Six, and we'll put some horns down around the room. Anywhere in that area will do. Alright, that's three. Do we have any more treasure? Nope. Let's just take all this. That's not treasure. Let's take all the treasure we have. I think that plate is a placeable, as is that urn. And then we'll drop this little tiny stuff in there as well. I think that's that's all the treasure we've amassed. Okay, so that puts us over ten thousand. So it does a level four. So that's as high as we are able to do at the moment with the treasure we have. We need to gather more treasure. We've spent most of our the time in the Age of War leveling up and building and doing stuff rather than gathering treasure. If you'd already got a save game from Age of Sorcery, you could have spent your whole time in Age of War gathering treasure. And in particular, if you get that heroic treasure. But, but we don't have any of that yet. We really need to get our sorcery maxed out so we can make teleport stones. Um, and then we can use the teleport stones to teleport stuff. Right, where did that go? I can hear it. Oh, it's right over that ridge. Again, nothing used the big blank space right in front of us. Here they come. This looks like it is also Black Hand Pirates. So I don't know whether it'll just be more of them, because it's a higher... Purge level. Oh, demon fire orb guys. 
There's another one. And another one. Two demolishers coming over the hill. Don't stand in the fire. Oh, four coming over the hill. They could take their legs out. Throw them down. So they won't go for the walls, they won't go for anything, they'll just go for the door. That one almost got through. Here, there. Oh, there's a couple more coming over the hill. Well, how are the golems? The golems are. Uh, they're down to 16,500 damage for health. That one's only 17,700, so they're doing okay. Of course, golems can't heal themselves. That damage will just keep ticking, ticking down until they're destroyed. These don't look like... These just look like... Uh, conscripted, conscripted prisoners. So these are super low level. You the wrong fight. What have they got? Health wise 105. That's just a wave of prisoners, so they are super low level. Not a problem. So, unlike the previous purge system, you can't knock any of these people out and tame them. With, with human characters from the previous purge system, you could knock them out, stick them on the wheel and have them as yourself, but, but of course you do have the prize of the cages at the end. Get. The bold. And they also, none of them have loot on them. You can see they've got no loot. You could harvest them and get hide and flesh and stuff, or use your religious artifact to get whatever the religious thing is for your religion. And if you did that, there are hundreds in the waves. Out of the fire. Missed. She's running, she's running, she's running. No. Right, so this is a bug that they've confirmed. So she smashed that door open with one hit. That is a bug, and it'll be fixed in the next hotfix. They've already said that for release day. They didn't do that before in the PTR, but she got to that door, she hit it once, and bust the door right open. Let's get them. But I think they won't actually try to do the other door now. They can get through that and they'll go straight for the next door. We <laughs> just have to make sure they don't get there. I'm not really having to do an awful lot. My, my team are experts. They do do that weird thing that if you slow them down by attacking them, then suddenly if they get past that attack, they kind of run past you and speed up. Almost like they're trying to catch up to where they would have been before. Right, it's all got everybody. Yep. There's another one coming. Getting dark again. Oh, 
Slower to practically a standstill. Here we go. The commander challenges us. Right, come on, Delincia. Let's go and find the commander. Let's take this guy out first. Again, they're oh, cut through it. Of course, they are cut through it. There's a rhino going about inside that camp. And they've killed a, an existing rhino. Oh, two. Three now. Right, here he comes. Right, they've got to aggro on Delincia because she's got the irritate perk. I will probably best take out the little guys. If I could hit them. Right, now we can take him down. Oh, well done. There we go, victory. So again, the waves will still come, but they will just disappear. Now that we've taken out the commander. Another five keys. Let's see what we get this time. Right. Please, please. <laughs> I am a dangerous time. man when free. Have Why are you still here? Why did he not disappear? Free me. Show me mercy. God take you. There we go. He's down. Right, this cage here. Mm, can't see what that is. Get back here. A thousand times I beg you, speak to As a Morian barkeep. Don't go back in the cage. I shall serve you libations unending. It's empty. It's not empty. He's there. Where uh, do you think you're going? That's a bit weird. So he's meant to like walk in a random area, but he's walked straight back in the cage again. Uh, that's Iskar again. We don't need another one of him. Shh. They're here. Get me out. Fighter, don't need you. And you are... Oh, Captain Ishu... Ishu was. That's the guy from the Black Galleon. <laughs> I am so it man. is a tier 4 fighter, it's just a pretty low level one. So we, don't, we don't want him either, so we'll get rid of him. Right, what's in the chest? Uh, there's some more epic... Pieces of armor, a crystalline guardian leg, a Argosian brazier, is that a treasure? It is a treasure. More gold and silver, dyes, a language dictionary, they learn Ymir. Don't think we have Ymir, so let's use that to learn Ymir. A shaleback egg, some reinforcements, various other bits, uh, we'll take the concentrated aloe. Uh, thick leather, okay. Where do you think you're going? Nothing else that exciting in that one. And some more armor, food, and various furniture, and other bits and bobs in, in the unlocked one. Right, this is going to be interesting. How do we get you? Can we access you? Nope. Come back here, or I'll slit your filthy throat. Do we have to wait for the... Wait for it to disappear. Let's take Delincia back over here, because I'll only be able to get one to follow me at a time. Because we need to speak to that barkeep, because that's the way that we get the tavern. Oh, you're running on the spot. Right, Delincia, you go there. You go there. So we've still got all five berserkers. We've still got our two guardians. Golems. So he's doing okay. I guess he's getting less action. He's down to 15,000 now. Right.
Right. I'm going to wait for this to despawn and hopefully it will get the barkeep and I'll see you when that happens. Okay. Okay. It has disappeared and thankfully the barkeep is just floating in midair now that the cage has disappeared. So we can get him to follow us. And this is one of the new follower types, thrall types, whatever we, we want to call them. So he does follow us about, but he's not a fighter. Well, he's actually classed as a performer, which means he can follow us about. He does have health. Uh, but we can access his inventory. He can put. He can get different armor on him. You can give him inventory. You could give him a weapon. Uh, here, of a of a set of daggers. Put the daggers in his hand. He will fight for you, but that's not his job. So if we you much, talk to him, my talents are in the barkeep trade. I can keep you and yours happy with drink, and my ears suss out. All manner of secrets and gossip, hmm? I will fight for you, but I could do so much more. Okay, so he's basically saying that he can fight for us, but his talents are in the barkeep trade, so he's better used for that. So we need to get him back to our base now, and uh, we can use them for creating our tavern, but, but that'll be in another episode. Because today we've went over the basics of the purge, and you, you see how it works. You put your coffer down you def in an area you want to defend. I would suggest you don't put it in your main base. And uh, you can certainly look for so lots of great defense bases on, the, on YouTube and on the v internet. That'll give you a much better base than this. This is only designed for low level purges so you can see we we only actually lost one door and even that was because a bug that should take like four or five hits to take a door down but there's a bug at the moment that they're destroying the doors with one hit so one dis uh, demolisher got to our door and destroyed it in one hit but that's all and that was what did we do level four purges but as it, as the levels go up it does get harder but also the rewards that you get will be better the, you get more cages and more likely to get a tier 4 and uh, some you get some very nice you can get delincias from there and you get a whole bunch of like sipta sipta surge mobs can be come out of the cages so you can get some very nice thralls indeed but that's going to do it for today thank you so much for watching if you like this video please hit the like button hit subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.